what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Hey guys, so we got a new episode of Talk of the Town, and today we have a special guest, Tokyo Vanity. Hey. So we're gonna say artist first, and then TV star, right? Facts. Okay. Do you have to correct people sometimes, or they starting to get the picture? Yeah, sometimes because people be trying to act like if you blew up with one thing, or if you into one thing, that like you can't be into other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I had a rap girl tell me one time, she's like. Oh, I didn't even know you took music serious. I was like, well, at least you need to stop taking music serious because I got a black and you don't. Well, but I'm shooting music videos for them. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> she's like, oh, I thought you just do Instagram. I said, well, then you need to start doing Instagram. Like, <laughs> something. Okay. <laughs> so, like, so pandemic happened. How Did that affect you in any way? How you been holding up since the pandemic? It, it affected my heart for real because, girl, them pandemic boys was all in my heart for <laughs> real. Like, they was just so generous. Like, bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them pandemic boys back especially the ones from new york oh they so generous <laughs> outside open so they outside now okay right <laughs> now they trying to act all stink because the pawn shop got them cardio watches and the choco <laughs> <laughs> but also you was clever on you was heavy on the clubhouse you was mm -hmm. dropping your youtube videos was staying home like getting you more motivated or you was feeling was clubhouse like more fun to you because then everybody was on there playing a and r work so nah, you, okay, so listen, so people who really had motion and stuff going on, mm -hmm. we got on Clubhouse and we did exactly what we were supposed to do. We all linked up, networked, network, exchanged mm -hmm. numbers, made moves outside of the internet and stuff like that. Okay. And we did everything we were supposed to do. Okay. The people who didn't was the people who probably wasn't even supposed to be on the app. Like, they just was on there to be on there <laughs> be and that's why there. they got passed up. But... Uh -huh. Clubhouse was very like therapeutic because like mm -hmm. I really ain't no all right ass bitch anyway, so I don't mm -hmm. really like uh like I don't know like I like being surrounded by friends and family right. and good vibes and stuff. So mm -hmm. it gave me a way to interact without having to interact. Like right. I'm at home, nobody got to see me. I ain't got to see <laughs> nobody, but I can talk to everybody. So, talking so. everybody, talking about all that good stuff. So like you was in you stay in Atlanta, right? Uh huh, Atlanta, New Orleans. Yeah. So outside wasn't closed in Atlanta at all. Right. You know what's crazy? Like, I never really remember, like, outside being closed. Like, and so actually, when, when quarantine happened, me and my friends, we actually went on a quarantine tour. So oh, wow. we would basically just go to fly to different cities, get an Airbnb for weeks at a time, and literally just being there cooking, playing games, getting the people to come in, hook up the studio, I know rapping, that, a corn tour. all that. And, That's like, cool. everybody will be watching us on live. Like, these hoes is living their best, best life, life, and we yes. inside. But it yes. gave people something to do. So what made y'all come up with that idea? Girl, I was going through a heartbreak. Oh, so you had to get out. Yes, girl, out I had to get outside. I was traveling the world. I had to be with my friends. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> so like, so how's that now? Dating, single, you chilling off the Sing guys. Girl, single and girl dating. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, are you looking for something particular, or are you focusing on your music, or whatever happens, happens? I mean, I be focused on my career, but I am ready to, like, settle down and be somebody's mama. Mama? Talking kids? Stuff. Yeah, girl, I'm a baby. Oh, my God. So, like, when? The next two years, three years, sooner? It's, like... Next week? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm just <laughs> I'm oh my god, yes. No, nah, but like within the next five years, I would okay. like to fucking bring life into the world or something. Okay, like, girl, damn. boy, anything? Whatever I have, gonna be savage anyway, so it don't even matter. <laughs> yeah. My baby's gonna be rough. I was gonna say, because you was dropping a lot of game on 85 South, so is mm -hmm. that like. Cause you kind of do you feel like you like more understanding when it comes to dating, or you feel like you more harsh because you know the game already? Like, how you feel? I ain't gonna lie, like, I wish I didn't have... Um, All the game you got? Yeah, like, I really <laughs> wish I could be a dumb bitch. Like, they really just be living life just so unapologetically... Mm -hmm. Loving these dudes and all that. Like, I really wish I could go back to that. Like, I, that's so bliss. Like, it's just so nice over there. But, mm -hmm. like, I got too much game. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, everything just be a red flag for me. I'm like, damn, I was liking this nigga. Now, I got to not talk to him. Damn, so, like, red flags. So, like, what's some red flags? Give us, like, three red flags. Like, you already know it's a red flag. Trying to do laundry over your house. Bitch, you're not about to move in here. Yeah, you said that on Twitter. That <laughs> yeah, I'm not even playing. I don't play that laundry. <laughs> hey, I'm telling y'all, that laundry... Let them do that laundry at your house and watch. You're going to start always going through your laundry and find a little shit. Next thing you know, he got a little pile. Now he got a drawer. Now he... A no! Pile. It's crazy. It's that 
that laundry. That's how they try to get you. They try to get you with that laundry. I mean, give us two more. Give us two more. Um, any nigga that disappear after a certain time, he got a hoe. He block you at night. Oh, he block you when he go okay. inside. After like twelve o'clock. Yeah, all of a sudden you home just can't get family. Him. Yeah, but when you with him, he ain't his phone the whole time. Just don't play with me. Right. Um, and then last what's one, the last other one? one? I'm gonna let cousin. What's the other one to be? Tell me, give me one. If he don't feed you, he don't need you. <laughs> if he don't feed you, he don't need you. Because y'all hoes really be out here with these niggas. And so they got to cook or as long as they buying food? Buying, cooking, whatever. Okay. You just need to so be long as he feeding yeah. you. Yes. Okay. I like the dude that put me in the passenger seat and stop at the store 40 times and be like, you want something out the store, baby? <laughs> yes. I sure do. So so on the, on the music tip, though, when would you say you found your love for music? I think I found my love for music when I think I found my love for music when I was like in the eighth, ninth grade. Like I've been rapping. Been like rapping. people at school knew I rap. Like at lunchtime, mm-hmm. we freestyling in the lunchroom. I did YouTube videos when I was a little girl. Like you could still find YouTube videos of me rapping, rapping. in high school. Like okay. I was before my time. Like I was YouTubing in high school. Yeah. Yeah. So you definitely was like ahead of your time. Okay. Yeah, so I was like doing ciphers like in my city. I got newspaper clippings. I was fifteen, like battling every two, twenty one and twenty two. Yeah, because you've been doing music. I'm gonna say how many years now? Like I've been serious? doing music because best friend I was, was like what six, seven years ago. Yeah, I was. I've been doing music since I was fifteen. I've been professionally like Being taking music artist. serious since I was twenty one. Okay. And what what year you got your gold plaque? Um. No, I got a platinum plate for platinum thug, plate. for thug shit. Okay, and when was that? Um, I don't know what 16, like 17? Yeah. So um, so what like so what's next? Would you say like when it comes to music? So you on tour right now? On um, yes, we are on Money. tour right now. Shout out to Tay Money. I'm gonna <laughs> say Happy Belated Girl. Um, that's very very dope to me. Um, yeah, being on tour. Yeah, it's it's so exciting. Like it's an exciting journey. Like. I'm sharing my journey with my team, with my cousin. Mm-hmm. Like we just traveling the world and we having a good time. Musically, um, where I'm at right now, I really, I make music for everybody, but I'm more so focused on who support me. So I make music for my for my cult following. Okay. Like, I don't care how people feel about my music, as long as I feed the needs of my fans. Okay. You know. So it's definitely for your fans. So how do you know when someone's your fan? When I know they're my fan. Yeah. Like how do you know? When they still be nice to me, like. <laughs> Cause them bitches be so fake. Like they be like, "Oh, I love you, girl." Then soon as I don't like that bitch. Damn, oh, wow. I thought you was just living for me three tweets ago. <laughs> three nah. tweets ago, is man, for Crazy. So like, so like, how do you like? I guess stay positive, not feeding into the negative stuff online. Do you feel like you feed into it? I do what I want. It just <laughs> depends on the day. I ain't lying to you. Like a lot of times, it's a lot of shit I let slide. But then sometimes, like if I look in your little bio and it say you live in like Atlanta or New Orleans, no, I'm going to say something because you <laughs> see me. Like nice. I be around. Like you could have told me that when I was at the grocery store, but you wait to get on Twitter. <laughs> but um, on the music note, your music was featured in P Valley. Period. Yeah, yeah and um, so so like um, how did that happen? Cause you know, that show was based in Atlanta. Right? Um, they just reached out to my management. Like oh, yeah. I like her. Okay. We want some songs, so we did it. They gave me a list of everything that they wanted me to add into the song. The song and mm-hmm. I did it. I added everything they told me to add. I made the song, sent it to them. One take, Jake. They liked it. They added it in, and then they say, you know, we could work in the future. Okay, so what if they ask you to be on the show? Like, you want to go back to that, acting? Because I'm actually acting right now. Now, hold on, don't say back to acting because I wasn't acting on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, that was real the life. Show, that was, I was real really life. Cracking the holes in that shit, ask them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you but, know, I just feel like you, like, my life on Love and Hip Hop wasn't fabricated. You know okay. what I'm saying? So like, was I was living life. my truth. With the other hoes be doing, that's on yeah. them. You know? So you would never production. go back to, like, reality TV? I mean, I don't know, because I'm not beefing with them. Like, we're okay. not beefing. Like, I'm not one of them. Like, oh, my God, they ruined my life. I am mean, hell no. I love no, them people. No, you're fine. Like, yeah. I'm doing good. Like, I ain't never get on TV and be depicted as goofy. So, mm-hmm. you know, I just was being yeah, Everybody know you real. You talk. You go live. You be doing your thing. Period. I appreciate that. But yeah. I, um, I just actually started now, yeah. acting 
Um, Zaytoven put me in his movie. It's called Finesse 2. It's out on Tubi. Mm-hmm. Um, I be working with Miss Denise Nash. She be helping me with auditioning for stuff and mm-hmm. picking out parts. She think I should audition for helping me do my tapes and stuff. And then I just shot a sitcom with T.I. With T. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that Lena. Yeah, so you definitely want to get into more acting, though? Yes. So, like, let's say if it was a movie, if you wanted to be featured in any movie right now, if they remade it, or if it's something that's on the way, what movie would you see yourself in? A movie and they, like, remade it? Like, if they remade it or a movie that you've seen before, that like, I, w- I could play that part. Like, it was... Shadows. Shadows. Yeah. <laughs> and what role would you play? <laughs> that was... I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I'm just trying to keep it gay to it, y'all. I don't know. Put me on Shadows or I got the hookup or... Okay. You know what I'm saying? Baller blocking, hot boys, something like that. Some gangster, something real. You don't even have to be there. Oh, I want to be in the old losing Isaiah last movie. Like <laughs> a kid gotta be missing or something. Like let me be oh. the nine one one person. The nine one one person. Yeah. Okay. If everything fails in life, I think I really might do want to be nine one one. Nine one one. Yeah. Wow. That don't mean that's the police, right? Because 911, I just got to answer the phone, right? 911 just has to answer the phone, but you do have to tell the cops what's going on. No, I just want to, like, help find children and shit, like... Okay. <laughs> so, what? maybe, like, um, what, like most wanted, those shows, when they, like, kind of, like, help out, I guess. It sounds too police, don't like <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I thought um, I just was going to have to answer the calls and be like, 911, what is your emergency? <laughs> yeah, but they, I think they still got to report it to someone, though. Would you like to give me as like your operator if you call nine one one? You yeah, you gonna make them like not be nervous at all. Like they're gonna be like not nervous. Okay. I feel like they'll be comfortable because you have to calm them down to know like what's happening. All you right, know? so call me and send me somebody in your house. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm not a good actor, but <laughs> come on, come on, ring, ring, ring. All right, ring, ring, ring. Nine one one. What is your emergency? So, um, my son locked himself in the bathroom, and I'm trying to get him out. Like, can I need someone to come and like help me like unlock the, the door? You ain't no butter knife. <laughs> I never, I never. Like, he's gonna be the die by the time we got him. Like, so what we doing? Like, like, he's stuck in a bed. That's what I'm at. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I told you to tell me. I told you to tell me somebody in the house trying to get you. She put me on the spot just now. Dang. I mean, I'm bad. I said I'm a bad actor. Your shit is wrong. <laughs> I'm a bad part. You don't come the fuck out of here for me. Don't fuck out you. Yeah, that was a bad one. I'm going to blank my mom. I'm going to say it's one, two. <laughs> I feel like a white person would call the cops and say that, though. No? No. So a black mom is not playing with one. Yeah, black mom not playing that. It's you better unlock this door. <laughs> I think it's something. Don't call if, if I'm on work. Don't call. Yeah, you gonna hang up on me? She would have yes, hung up. She would have yes, hung up. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's people dying out here, man. And you talking about your fucking <laughs> life? You okay. said you on seventy six and what? Do you know on seventy six and somebody is dead right now? <laughs> Nah, that's mad funny. But nah, I think, yeah, you definitely... Would you ever do a podcast? Yeah. we work. That's what we're working on right now. We're right now? I'm just lazy. Like, I just want to pull wow, up Wow, you be podcast. talking. You was talking on Clubhouse. You be talking. Like, I just want to pull up and do this right here. Like, I don't want to... So you want it all like, set up already? You just yeah, want to come Yeah, like, in? I just want to pull up and be like, <laughs> bitch, let me tell y'all what. These niggas got me fucked up. Like... That's what I want to yeah, do. Like, um, don't call me white girl. Just did a um podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's kind of doing the same thing. But um, what I was gonna say. So like, so people have been trying to separate rappers, rap. I said rappers. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Rappers and artists, right? Mm-hmm. So like, um, I don't know if you seen Remy Ma went on Drink Champs and said Doja Cat isn't uh, she isn't a rapper. She's an, mm-hmm. whatever. She's an artist. So like, what do you think? Do you think like you should separate the two? You think it's the same thing? You think rappers are rappers and artists are artists? Like, what do you think separates a rapper from artists? I mean, to them labels, don't none of that shit matter. <laughs> Can you make a song? Can you sell units? Can you sell tickets? Hard tickets. Yeah. Like, are you getting streams? Like, that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Like, I really don't want to be the person to say 
who's a rapper and who's not a rapper. Yeah, I'm not telling you to name them, but I'm saying like, would you feel the way if someone said you're a rapper, you're not an artist, or you're an artist, you're not a rapper? Like, does it no, matter I'm to you? <laughs> like, it don't matter. Like, it does. Like, listen, if if I say, um, Doja Cat's not a rapper, mm-hmm. she's still rich, right? Like, people still right. buying her music. Like, I think mm-hmm. she's a rapper. Like, it, I think she's just versatile, and yeah. I think sometimes. Um, the problem sometimes with um, artists who are versatile um, predominantly do one style okay. of rap, okay. you know, mm-hmm. once they meet a see an artist that kind of rap, sing, they do pop, and they can do hip hop, and they say, oh, but that's just a pop artist, pop. I thought I thought everybody um, that one that's rapping and getting plaques and stuff. It's aiming to be a pop artist, right? Because you want to yeah. make popular music. A superstar, right? whatever you want to call but it. So like, right? Like, that's what yeah. pop music is, correct? Or am I wrong? I thought it was, what, popular music? Yeah, popular like music, superstar, whatever yeah, you want to Yeah, you know what it, I'm like, saying? So, I, that's everybody's, like, if, if you rapping it and you don't go pop, I feel like you your career never pop for real. Like, because right. that... Yeah, you're supposed to be. Yeah, you're supposed to bigger. evolve into that, like, right. and make popular music. So mm-hmm. it's just like, well, not no everybody, because that's not everybody's goal. Yeah. But I'm saying, if that's your goal, is to be, you want to be a young thug or a Nicki Minaj, or <laughs> yeah, you know Beyonce, what I'm saying, you Beyonce, saying. like you go off into pop. Yeah, because you start making popular music. So what what do you feel like motivates you to keep doing music? My really, literally, legit. But between my teams and my my between my team and my fans, for real. Mm-hmm. Like my fans, they fuck with my music. Like they be cursing me out. Like mm-hmm. I be posting about other stuff, and they be like, Drop "I mean, song. I think this outfit is really nice, but it's just fucked up that this is more important than music." See, that's why you can't. They be oh, wow. talking crazy to me. If oh, you God. care more about your music, if you care more, if you cared about music, how you care about these outfits. Maybe you will have another plaque. That's how they be talking to me. And I be like, you know what? You're absolutely right, Tamika. I'm sorry. So, like, so, so you go in the studio that night. So, does that, like, push you to move forward? Or you feel like you don't want your fans being so harsh on you? Like, what do you think? Mm, I I mean, I just feel like it just comes from a place of love. But I actually, I do what's best for me at whatever time it is. Like, Mm -hmm. anything that does not bring me peace, I do not do Mm-hmm. So whatever it is, like if music is not what I want to do today, I don't care who wants me to do music. That's not what I'm doing today. Like right? mm-hmm. I do what's best for me, cause I'm the only one who got to live my life. Right. Like I ain't gonna get to be nobody else. Ain't nobody else gonna get to be me. Yeah. I just do what's best for me. You've always been, like, super, super confident. Definitely giving words of advice to, like, females and stuff like that. Absolutely. So, like, how do you stay so positive energy? Like, you grew up with that? Your mom taught you that? Like, Hell, I- yeah. <laughs> my mom's really that bitch, for real. <laughs> like, I remember getting ready for school when I was a little girl. I'd be like, yeah, what that is right there. But I was connected. She'd be like, no. This is a real gold necklace with real diamonds in it. Them hoes ain't got that. Them hoes don't like you. They jealous. Don't let nobody play in your hair because you're the prettiest girl in the world. Like That's how my mom used to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Like She used to tell me if people didn't like me, they jealous of me. They want to be me. I ain't still fuck. That's, that's, that's low-key true, though. I still feel like that. Yeah. I just feel like you're jealous. Like, <laughs> why else not, bitch? We, like, I don't yeah. like an end of, like, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't never really had, like... No industry beef or nothing like that. Right. Like, and if I did, it's like y'all hoes ain't never shot mobbles with me. Ain't no blood and shit. We yeah, it's ain't not no that money deep. Or like, so how could you have an issue with me, bitch? I don't know you. Yeah. You from somewhere totally different. We just met in these grown, big ass age. And you talking about you got an issue <laughs> with somebody, with girl? Please. Right. Yeah. So definitely just su- staying super positive. I mean, if you had advice for anybody that's coming up in the game right now in the industry, what would you tell them? Yeah, you ain't gotta come out trying to be with all that all right ass shit. Like, don't don't come out hopping in people's shit and picking sides and doing all this and doing all that, all that for them people to be back cool two months from now and then they not nobody fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Like, just stay in your lane, make your music, and you know do your thing. Like, I don't be in shit cause like I don't be around. Right. I go and I do my job and I go home. Like, I understand who my friends are mm-hmm. and I understand who like. Okay, this girl, she's just another artist like me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show her some love because that's what I do. Yeah, and it's love. already so hard in the music industry mm-hmm. with women. But I don't have to go outside our job. Like, we cool. We met at the concert. <laughs> that's dope. We exchanged yeah. Instagrams and we even exchanged numbers. Now we can have a B 
business relationship. If mm-hmm. some music shit pop up, I will hit this girl up. Mm-hmm. But I'm not hitting this bitch up like, bitch, let me tell drink. you, oh, Antonio just cheated on me like, <laughs> no, like that's weird. Like you know what I'm saying. So you think they be being too friendly, or just don't be too friendly? They just, they just meet people. See, this would it be? They meet girls, and then like sometimes you could blow up overnight, or you could have oh, something sure. that really pop, mm-hmm. and it really will put you in a room with people who you really fans of. Mm-hmm. Like you got to think about it. Somebody yeah. could. We, we could be on a, a, a show right now with uh, me, and they do all the girls, and they do me, Asia Doll, Mulatto, Tokyo Jets, Tay Money, and some yeah, more girls, all the girls, right? Yeah. Pat Chanel, they do all the all girls, girls, Dreezy, everybody, right? And this girl, she got a song that blew up on TikTok mm-hmm. three months ago, so now it's in the generation, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's it generating, going. right? Yeah. Okay, so now they just did an all-girls concert, and when they got to go pick those little smaller upcoming Artists and shit like mm-hmm. that, or somebody who just blew, and now we all on the same level. Yeah, they go pick her. Right. She was just a fan of all us last month, three months ago, even to today. Like, right. so now she in a room with us and think like you have to be out, like you know. But it's <laughs> like just be cool, be yourself. Yeah. Like you gonna get so much further with just being yourself. Yeah. So you ever been in a super fanned out situation like that? Like I ain't gonna lie, if I meet Patty LaBelle, bitch, I might die. <laughs> no, not like for you. I'm saying, oh. with somebody doing that to you. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, like you meet girls and they be like, like that. It just, it scared me a little bit when, when I meet you and you just way too, like, you ready to Hyper- tell me your whole life. And, you know, we for lifers. And I'm just like, damn, shout out, I just met you. Like, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you act like the nigga in front of the store when you give him five lives. I can't I'm about you. Excited. Damn, unk, you gonna kill something about me because I gave you five lives. Like, <laughs> we just met. We we on the same two shows. You know, we done did two shows together yeah, back to back. Nice. I'm her sis and we five life and she'll die for me. Like, it's God, crazy. No, it, it really do be people like that. That's right. That shit a little scary. <laughs> like, you throwing up my set and all that. Bitch, I'm from New Orleans. Like, you not from the East? Like, why you throwing that up? Yeah, let me go on too far sometimes. And I feel like clout right now is a dangerous drug. I feel dangerous. like everybody's trying to do things for clout and stuff like that. Do you ever get like clout chases, I guess, trying to like get you to respond to them? All the time. <laughs> like, All the time. Every day is a, is a race of clout. <laughs> like clout is dangerous Yo, and it really, it really, it really scares me. Like sometimes people uh, uh, meet me and they'll say like, oh, I met her and she was kind of like, and I'll be like, no, you just have to think about this, shawty. You met me leaving the gas station at 1 o'clock at night. It's you and four other people. And it's me, myself, myself, my my cherry, this Glock. I don't want to be on the news for doing that. Now I'm trying to see if the justice system on my side because y'all hoes playing with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. that's crazy, you know? So it'd be like, you have to protect yourself. Like, we in a new era Mm -hmm. of, like, rap. Mm -hmm. And... It's a new era that, to me, it hasn't really been like this since, like, that Sorcerer Wall era when they were shooting at the Sorcerer Walls and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's a little different no. being um, an artist and shit now. Like, this is the most, like, we ever, I don't care what nobody say, this is the most we ever heard of, like, the mainstream, the bread and butter dying. Like, mm-hmm. okay, yes. yeah, we had, like, Biggie and Pac who died to gun violence, but, bro, we having a Biggie Rockers, and Pac die every day. Yeah. Like, not saying they, if... Y'all get what I'm saying, yeah, bro. Like, these it. these rappers, these social media Are influencers, actually, bro, we're yeah. dying at a all-time high. A young like, age is too, 21, Back 20 in the days, days, when you heard people had, it was been bloodshed and people died, you would hear such and such as little, little homie, homie yep. from this camp and from that camp then got killed because that's who getting it on. But no, the rappers is out here doing drills now. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just... It's a different era. Like, everybody want to be that next big... Like, bitches is happy to say they side bitches. Bitches is happy to say they fucking your nigga. They happy to say they pregnant for your husband. They happy to say that your husband is a cheater. Ha ha. Yo, your life, you ain't no different. You ain't no better than none of us. Mm -hmm. And everybody else, like, they want to beef with you and do this and do that. Like, everything for clout. 
Yeah. Sad. Oh, yeah, and a lot of the call be negative too. It, it, it ain't it, never good stuff. Yeah, it's never good stuff. Facts. Because that's not really what draw attention. Controversy does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's definitely dangerous being an artist right now for sure. The, our, artists say that all the time though. It's just really dangerous having any type of attention, followers, followers or attention following, on you. Yeah. Like, if you are uh, the little guy. And, and you got like like, like a Drewski or somebody, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nigga in this world who, when Drewski go to do his little shows or <laughs> shit like that, or yeah. he in the mall or something like that, because you know he in Atlanta, like yeah. he in the mall. So, it's a nigga who who uh who wants ride Drewski world like punch cause... him in the back of his shit just to say like they did I that. punch Drewski like yeah. They they want to record it. They want to be seen as the next big like. They want them five mm -hmm. minutes of fame. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the industry wants the five minutes of fame, and a lot of the, a lot of, they try to do this thing like cancel culture all the time. Only like, to black people though. Right. <laughs> Only to black people. White people don't get canceled. Low key, do you do you feel like we can get canceled, or you feel like it's no such thing as canceling, or just people on the internet super sensitive? I don't think it's no such thing as um. I don't really think that it's no such thing as, like, real canceling because people don't have the attention span for it. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't they can't do it long enough. Like, right, we canceled Gucci for 15 minutes. He dropped like, a hot song. He's back on the radar. Nah, I ain't. Girl, talking about the brain. I'm crying. Oh, I hate you. I hate this girl so bad. <laughs> No, like ah, we, we canceled Gucci. For we canceled minutes. Gucci the clothing and brand. He collab with some. They like, collab with somebody. I think we, we North canceled, Face. Or yeah, or was it before that? But but we had we accepted them back way before that. Yeah, canceled them. They canceled uh Doja Cat. Yeah. Um. Canceled Tory Lanez. They canceled oh, wow. Tory. They canceled. They trying to cancel Megan right now. They canceled the baby too. Made the baby. They canceled Megan before. Like everybody. They trying to cancel Drewski right now because of the skit he did about like how guys be trying to make girls get drunk so they could take advantage. Um, I don't and think was, like, I seen it, but I don't think Drewski should be canceled for that skit because right. Drewski does nothing but shit. he does nothing but POV posts. Point of view, mm -hmm. like. He be showing these niggas and these bitches how weird they are. Like, for real. <laughs> no, for Like, real. that's all he do is he he don't be saying that this is his life. Right. He's saying it's the same. Because if he had made a video and said, black mamas be like, and he came in there with a fucking bonnet on and stood in your door for 15 minutes looking for something <laughs> to say, and, and your room clean, so she just walk out. Everybody, ah, that's so funny. That, yeah. But when this nigga say how rapey a lot of y'all niggas be, then it's like, oh, cancel yes. Drewski. No. He no. just showing how y'all hoes be going and that. how these niggas be getting y'all to go. Yeah. I guess because they were trying to say it's not funny, but it was really, like you said, a point of view type of thing. It's a point of view post. It's a lot of shit on there that don't be funny to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think that, that TikTok, uh, I don't think that TikTok sounds funny when, um, it be the girl beating the kids, but when a bitch put on there, be like, when I'm trying to get some dick and my kid keep coming in the room, everybody think it's funny. Like, yeah, I saw that. I you saw feel that. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's POV posts. Like, I, I thought it was to be relatable, not to be right. funny. Right. And then everybody's just trying to make content, I guess, now. So. I think that's what make it funny. I think that's what make point of view posts funny mm -hmm. because when you watch them, you be like, damn, I ain't crazy. Somebody else do, do that. Right. Yeah, like, the first time I ever got on the internet and seen a meme of somebody scrolling. This was before they was doing it in videos when it was you had to watch the memes. Mm -hmm. And it was like a little man, a little circle head man laying in the bed and a phone falling on his face. <laughs> I was like, damn, I thought that oh. was just me my whole life. <laughs> like... Nah. So oh, yeah, yeah that's what the internet memes. is. POV pose. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you be needing to take a break from the internet? Or? I do it all the time. Yeah. I don't be on the internet as much as people think. Yeah. Like, I ain't had my phone this whole interview and I ain't flinched. It's a lot of people who <laughs> this whole interview would have still been yeah, like, like, looking like, at this shit. Somebody hit me? Yeah, yeah, I don't really be in my phone. Like, I be in my phone when, when need be. But I ain't really just super Heavy like, on the social yeah. media. Yeah, it definitely does a lot for you. So, what's next? You're on tour right now. You're doing some acting. What could we look forward to next from Tokyo? Um, A mixtape. Mixtape? Yeah. This year? Maybe summer? Maybe Yeah, fall. this year I got um my song. I'm about to drop with Fredo Bang as well. Oh, well, but before I drop that, I got the Collect Call remix with my baby Santana. Okay. So, um, go they, put that out. Yes. Um, probably shoot um something for that. Um, Got uh, the song that I'm about to put out with Fredo Bang. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah, then after that, I probably followed up with a little project or something like that, a little mixtape. So maybe we see some features on this mixtape. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely features on the mixtape. Uh, it really be up to them. They, I don't know, they control me. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they control me. Nah, I, I love it though. They really run my life. I love it. I don't have to do nothing with rap. <laughs> it's so nice. So you don't like being doing the whole creative process? I don't have to do nothing. You no, but I'm very creative. They'll tell you, like, I'm into my creators. I'm going a, I'm to a say everything I want. This is my thing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm creative, but I'm easy to work with because I don't mind you doing your input okay. too, right? right? So if I tell you I want X, Y, and Z in blue and pink, right? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what else you do. As long right. as it has X, Y, and Z in blue and pink. pink. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so that's good. You can good. add whatever you want to add. Just make sure what I want is there. So that's good. And you ever thought about, like, do you write for people? For, like, other artists? Child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say who, but like, um, would girl, you would you write for more people? I feel like female no, artists is coming up right now. No, you wouldn't share I your source. Write for okay, I'm I, just I don't. Cause like you have been wrote some shit for these hoes, and these hoes be trying to shit on you. Like you ain't just wrote for them. I mean, but you getting paid. No, no, like it's cool, but like I don't know. You want your like, credit? No, or? I don't care. No, I'm not that person. Like okay. I don't want to write nothing for you and then get on the internet like they didn't take that I wrote the <laughs> bitch. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Like, but you but just feel like they should like work the for it. Like the way people treat people. Mm. Like you get what I'm saying? Like okay. I would never like make you um, design a whole dress for me. Mm -hmm. Right? I I would never like make you design a whole dress for me or whatever mm -hmm. like that. And then I wear the dress, uh, finally get invited to the to the Grammys or something like that. And I wear the dress to the Grammys and you there. And I walk past you on the red carpet like I don't fucking know you. Oh. Like, oh. that's weird. Like, yeah, that is weird. It's your difference in the studio with me. Like, right, don't be right. weird like and that. we got that hit record that we made. Too. Yeah, like, come on. Don't be weird like that. They be doing a little weird shit. That's so. why I don't do all that friendly. <laughs> all that friendly Yeah, stuff. like, I be chilling because bitches be getting weird. And I love all rap girls. Like, yeah. any girl who make music, I love mm -hmm. her. Yeah, the girls are definitely doing anything this year. I feel like the girls, it's the girls' year this year. Yeah, I'm a fan of any girl who makes music. If you yeah. a female, if you have a vagina, you make music, I'm a fan. Because <laughs> it's hard out here for us. The females, for sure, for sure. It's hard. And they critique us so much harder. Like, a nigga could come out and his front tooth Purple be missing. Purple hair, green hair, His front tooth hair. could be missing, bro. <laughs> And he can have a uh, a shit bag, and nobody else say nothing. Wheelchair. I just seen rappers in a wheelchair. Us guys. They don't fuck with it. Oh my god! I love his hardcore exterior. The bag show me he went through something. Like, <laughs> he got his wall wound, his tooth missing. Like yeah, that's because he the drill king. He really was out here drilling shit. Like yo, nah, drill nah, king is hilarious. Nah, it's like. Now he's just cool, but me, let your girl Christina Rock. Yeah, let a girl have missing. a slanted her frontal. Her missing, they, oh and they got to say something about it every moment. Blue face, they get our two feet. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's hard for yeah, girls. They critique us so hard. They, they so definitely mean to us. Do. They definitely do critique us hard, but I feel like the girls are definitely getting their flowers this year. More than ever. Yeah, finally. More than ever this finally. year. Finally, and it's a great time. It's a great time to be a girl. For sure, for sure. Thinking of drill, are you into the drill music right now? Yeah, I think that shit cool. Yeah, who artists? What artists you listen to? <laughs> what artists you listening to, like drill wise? Oh, drill wise, I like. Um, of course, I like Fabio. Uh huh. Um, I like Fabio. I like um Max. Max, yeah. Yes, Max, really real. Um, I like Asian. Asia. Um. Yeah, I like Katie. I like all I like all of Chicago. Um, I like all of Chicago. Even though like Chicago drill and New York drill is totally different, yeah. different, but I like you know I like all that shit. Like I'm from a rough place, right? So, so you feel it a little bit. So yeah, I be feeling that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it be cool. You would do a drill record? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you consider? Would you consider SBA as kind of drill? Well, with King Bimo, right? It's mm -hmm. kind of drill. Yeah, yeah, Bimo made me drill or yeah. whatever like that. But hell yeah, I listen to Bimo too. He's yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. He's hard. And a little uh, K-Flock dude and all that. The K-Flock dude. They cool, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I ain't from out yeah, here. I'm from New Orleans, cool. though. So. Yeah. That's cool. You, do you see it expanding out there? Do you see, like, New Orleans people trying to do, like, drill music? Or it ain't get that far yet? New Orleans is a drill. 
Meaning like is a drill, like Yeah, New Orleans is a drill. So like they've been on that. We call it Chopper City. New Orleans means we've been gangster. Like okay. you gotta think about it, like if you think back like juvenile, BG, Soldier Slim, like them niggas been having gangster music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it wasn't it didn't have those type of beats, beats you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like Chicago people tell you, like drill music come from them talking about gangster shit. Gangster shit, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. So New Orleans, because I feel like everybody defined drill different yeah. ways. So, like, like so, New yeah. Orleans is when I say New Orleans is a drill. Like, like y'all been talking that gangster stuff. Yeah, like, New Orleans. Everybody know New Orleans is a gangster city. Like right. it's, it's gangster out there. So for sure, she kind of has a drill record, but you would do more. I drill would, I would love to. Drill yeah. music, um, mixtape on the way, Fredo Bang on the way, Three. Saucy remix on the way. Yeah. Anything else we're missing? Anything else you want to tell people? No. <laughs> Don't be shy now. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, Shout out to my. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, tell the people where to follow you, where to find you. How can they tune in? So into y'all can find me on all social media platforms at Tokyo T O K Y O X Vanity V A N I T Y, except for Instagram because they hated on me. But your followers getting back up there. They going. They hated on me, but my um Instagram is Tokyo T O K Y O underscore underscore Vanity V A N I T Y.